It's the turning point. Tamar is about to be taken out of the courtroom, and Yehuda gets up and he says, Tzadka Mimeni. I'm wrong, she's right. The Mechilta has an amazing comment about this. It says that at that moment, when Yehuda admitted he was wrong, the first moment of tshuva in recorded history, right there, Yehuda merited that the kingship would come from his descendants. But we need to ask why. I mean, of all the rewards that Yehuda could have received as a merit for doing tshuva and admitting he was wrong, why should kingship be the Rebbe Shalom's response? The answer comes from a powerful Gemara in Yuma. The Gemara asks, why does Hashem react so differently to Shaul than he does to David? Shaul was an extremely righteous person. Why does he lose the kingship and why does David merit to, re to retain it? The Gemara answers, in order to be a king, you can't be perfect. You have to have flaws and have recovered from them. And the reason is because in order to lead others, one needs to realize the flaws in himself. Gemara says, We never appoint a leader over the community. Unless he has the bag of skeletons in his closet. Yehuda was not the perfect one of the Shvatim. He made mistakes with Yosef. He made mistakes with Tamar. But he's able to recover from those mistakes. He recognizes that he made a mistake. He responds and he recovers from it. It is the person who can realize the flaws in himself who proves that he is able to lead others. Shabbat Shalom.